Well, hello, friend. Beechard Moorfield here. Glad you joined me today for Make It a Great Day. Martin Luther King Jr. made this statement. He said, love is the only force capable of transforming an enemy into a friend. What a powerful statement. Let's look at it today. We're talking, not talking about natural love. We're not talking about uh, the, the love that you have for your favorite dish or the love that you might have for your pet. We're not even talking about the love that you have for your spouse or your children. We're talking about agape love. We're talking about the God kind of love. If it were the spousal love, then there would be no such thing as a divorce. If it were just children, lo lo the love of, or, or the love of a food or a dish, then there would be no problems on the planet. Everybody just have their favorite dish and we'd all get along. But it's talking about agape love. The, the love of God is the only force capable of transforming an enemy into a friend. We've seen it in history. We've seen godless countries, that is, people who do not serve the living God. We've seen how they have lived a destructive course of life, and nothing good really has come of that. Now, we may have learned some military tactics from them, but if you study history, you'll find that the greatest creativity of all mankind has, has arisen out of Christian nations. Think about it. Uh, I, I'm, I think I'm correct in the statement. I don't believe there's another country in the world that has copyright laws like we have, that has patent laws like we have. And the reason is because so much of the real creativity of the world of the past two centuries has been birthed in the United States or by nations that we have helped or to whom we've ministered. Places where the gospel has been taken, and even when it's been, even when something a great discovery perhaps has come from a nation that is not a Christian nation, the influence of a Christian nation upon that person or upon that 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 uh, creativity can be traced directly back to Christian roots. You see, God is a creator, not a destroyer. So the love of God is a creative love. And what can it do? The love of God, when it's used properly, can transform an enemy into a friend. You know, the Bible teaches us that uh, when we are at, in union with Christ, when we're one with him, then things are right. The, the, everything, is, everything falls into its place where it needs to be. But if we're not at peace with God, we're in strife against God, we're in enmity with God, then we're in trouble. But isn't it interesting that even those who do not know Jesus Christ as Lord have been given the opportunity through Jesus Christ to accept him as Lord and therefore have a right relationship with God. It is the love of God that made that possible. Again, love is the only force, agape love, the love of God, is the only force capable of transforming an enemy into a friend. So as you go out today, uh, you may not be encountering enemies. You may not be encountering people who want to destroy you or hurt you. But you're likely going to encounter someone who's not your friend. Walk in the love of God. The love of God is simple. The Bible says this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. That's 1 John 5, 3. In John 14, Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So there, the demonstration of our love for Christ is to keep his commandments. As you go forth today in your life, on the job, socially, wherever you might be, make sure that you are walking a walk that is pleasing to the Lord. That you're being obedient to his commands in how you treat others. As you do that, you'll discover too what Martin Luther King Jr. said that love is the only force capable of transforming an enemy into a friend. Not what you do, but your influence may direct them to Jesus. Remember, you're not the door, he is. But you are a window through whom others might see him. So be an obedient child of God. Walk in the love of God. Demonstrate his love to others. And in so doing, you may be walking that path that helps transform an enemy into a friend. Now, knowing that, go out there and make it a great day.